short and stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a Canada advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be diving into the top pain relieving terpenes. Join me as I dive into the world of terpenes and see if I can find the most effective one for relieving pain, hopefully. Disclaimer, I am not a medical professional, but I am a can of professional. Terpenes are the unsung hero of this ancient plant. They're responsible for its unique flavor and aroma and effects, but it also holds a wealth of therapeutic benefits. The plant can produce over a hundred different terpenes, each in which lies its own unique characteristics and benefits. And today we're going to explore the amazing terpenes that can hopefully help relieve your pain. Everybody's endocannabinoid system is different. I just fact checked myself. Can you believe that 1.5 billion people, billion with a B, worldwide suffer with chronic pain and traditional pain relieving methods such as pharmaceuticals have very bad side effects and oftentimes just don't work are either flat out addictive or deadly. I know many of us are looking for more natural remedies nowadays, myself included. The main reason I'm a medical patient is for my different chronic pains. I deal with phantom pain from a loss of a finger, but I also deal with very bad chronic pain flare-ups in all of my joints and bones from my head to my toes because of my Robino syndrome. That's why I'm such an advocate for this plant because it's so helpful. I've worked in medical dispos. I've seen firsthand how much it helps people with all different kinds of chronic pain. Chronic pain is a blanket statement that can cover many different types of disabilities and diagnoses. So with all of these billions of people looking for relief, there has to be some holistic natural remedies that mother nature has to provide. And that's correct. Terpenes, baby. The medical community has been doing more and more research on how terpenes in the plant can provide crucial pain relief for so many different people from chemo patients to limb loss. As we dive into the world of pain relieving terpenes, it's clear they have the potential to be a game changer in pain relief management. So stay tuned to find out which ones and in what flavors and lineages you can see them in. All right, let's start with limonene. Limonene is commonly found in citrus fruits as well as flavors like super lemon haze and sour diesel. Limonene has anti-inflammatory properties, making it effective for pain relief. It also supports and strengthens the immune system and helps regulate energy balance in the body. Scientific research has yielded limonene has been shown to have these great anti-inflammatory effects and may assist in pain management by interacting with serotonin receptors and increasing dopamine output in the brain. All right, let's move on to my favorite, karyophyllene, present in black pepper and cloves. It is a more peppery, spicy terpene found in lineages such as Girl Scout cookies and Bubba Kush. Karyophyllene is a unique terpene because it also acts as a cannabinoid, bonding to the CB2 receptors in your body, reducing inflammation and chronic pain. Wow, it's like a twofer. Scientific studies have even showed that beta karyophyllene is effective in managing inflammation and reducing chronic pain perception, particularly in models of inflammatory pain. Guys, I know I'm referencing a lot of scientific research. I will be including all of them in the screen, but I will also be linking them all in the description below. Time to talk about myrcene. This is the famous one that's commonly found in mangoes, hops, and thyme, but also in lineages such as Blue Dream and OG Kush from the West Coast. It's known to have benefits that are rather sedative, muscle relaxing, and anti 
anti-inflammatory effects, which contribute to its overall ability to relieve pain. Diving into more scientific research, you can see that myrcene's ability to enhance the absorption of other cannabinoids across the blood barrier also contributes to its pain relieving effects. Another European study that was published also showed that myrcene was able to reduce pain in patients by over 40%. That is no small feat. This study also yielded that myrcene provided effective relief that these patients no longer needed painkillers. Hmm, I had a similar real life experience when I lost a finger and I was dealing with insane pain and was given strong Oxycontin prescriptions. I was not taking that. Instead, I was taking CBD and terpene specific gummies. And man, did those help. I can attest to the life changing benefits terpenes and specific cannabinoids can have in relieving and managing pain. I've been able to reduce and cut out my reliance on pharmaceuticals to manage something I'm always going to have to deal with. I can confidently say I've given myself a better quality of life and have my pain management down to a T. The benefits of terpene for pain relief are clear and the scientific research backs it up. Whether you're struggling with chronic pain or looking for a more holistic approach, I hope this video was able to help shine some light. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below. I love to chat with y'all. And remember, by harnessing the power of these compounds, we can start to move away from traditional pharmaceuticals and step towards a more natural, holistic approach. Because Mother Nature provides all relief, we just have to look for it. Thanks for watching everyone. If you had an experience with terpenes or pain relieving lineages, let me know in the comments below. And be sure to give this a thumbs up if you learned something and subscribe if you'd like to learn more about holistic remedies with me. Check out my previous video where I also shared other terpenes that help relieve anxiety. And stay tuned for my next video when I get back from the PNW. I'll be sharing some fun stuff from Oregon and Cali. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday, so I'll see you real soon. Peace. And if you didn't hear it today yet, I appreciate you.